Gracias. Good morning. We are off to another adventure today and it's taking us to the Tikal Mayan ruins. This is going to be an amazing history cultural trip for us so i'm really excited about this one i've never seen anyone on youtube that actually traveled to Tikal by flight i did mention that we are working here in guatemala we're not on vacation so we don't have a lot of time we're just really trying to maximize the weekends that we have free so we're going to spend the night in Tikal in the jungle and because of that it was just easier and less time consuming to take a flight so the funniest thing happened, right? We checked in, <laughs> we went to security, and guess what? We had to go back because we completely forgot about the element of not being able to carry liquids on the plane. <laughs> because I don't know if we feel like we're taking a bus or a train or something, but because we're still in Guatemala, um, we just completely forgot about that. So we had like loads of liquid in our bags. We made it through and we're good. <laughs> We're now waiting at the boarding gate. You have group three? Uh, oh, you have group eight. Yeah. 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 Day, 
we're all humans, we're all the same. We may have different cultures, we may speak different languages, but the more I travel, is the more I realize we're really all the same. And sometimes we really also look the same. We have sometimes the same mannerisms, just, you know, different versions of it. So travel, go see the world. Wherever I go to Africa, South Africa, Czechoslovakia, I don't even know what languages speak there, but I can't wait to visit. <laughs> but I was just thinking about it and it really just amazes me how we're really making our way even into the very rural parts, the inner parts, and we don't speak the language, but we're able to travel and enjoy the experience. So my encouragement to you is go, <laughs> let nothing stop you. Okay. Okay. Please leave the key here at the front desk. At the front desk, yeah. okay. It would be our guard. Mm. Nice. This is good. The shuttle will be here at the front? Yes. Okay. Right so from 11 to 6, no you, electricity. No electricity. In the room, you will not only have the light of the fan and to connect a phone or an adapter at the back of the lamp. But suddenly in the morning, it goes off because it's a bank of batteries that gets, mm. gets full charge. Recharged, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wi Fi is 24 hours, but just in this area, not in the rooms. Mm. We are here at the Jungle Lodge in the middle of the Guatemalan jungle. Do I look excited or what? I'm very excited and so happy to be here. It's very peaceful. I can't wait to just listen to the sounds of the jungle tonight. But check-in was very, very good. The staff was very friendly. Everyone has been very friendly in Guatemala, to be honest. And so far, so good. So you would have seen a, a little bit of the check-in just now. And you heard correct. There are times when the electricity, the power is turned off. You can charge your phone and then there's also a fan that runs 24-7, but that's it during that time, which means that there's going to be no electricity when we're getting ready to leave for our flight tomorrow morning because we're leaving at 5 a.m. and the power comes back on at 6.30 a.m. This is quite a unique experience for me, definitely the first time staying in the jungle and it's different. It's definitely encouraged you just to disconnect and be present and i'm really happy that i'm able to share this experience with you guys the check-in is at 3 p.m it's now about 12 p.m so our room isn't ready yet so yeah let's take a look at the menu and see what we can get to eat right now <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we decided to have. This is a, yeah, no problem. This is a typical local dish here in Guatemala. It's called chicken pepian. As it says here, their own version reinterpreted by Jungle Lodge. I'm gonna try it because I haven't tried it yet. It comes with a side of potatoes, carrots, green beans, rice. Baby is having the chiltepe chicken, which is basically grilled chicken. And then I also decided to have the tortilla soup. Gracias. Sí. Aquí. Gracias. Oh, so para tu tía for me. Yeah. Can you put it over here for me, please? Right here. Maybe we'll come with like a bowl or something. Yeah, me too. Gracias. Oh, I thought they were on the side. Oh, babe, there's rice in it. <laughs> One thing that's very popular here in Guatemala is rice in soup. It's not my thing. <laughs> but I'm about to taste this tortilla soup. 
the tortillas the avocados i thought they were going to be on the side but they're in the soup but we're here for a new experience so we're gonna taste it let's try the soup it is very tortilla soup like <laughs> and the flavor it's like a, it's like a tomato sauce soup it's not bad it's done to order so it's really hot Excellent. Thank you so much. Gracias. Oh my god, our room is ready. So we're heading to our room now. We're literally in the jungle, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you believe me. Gracias, señor. Okay, so we have the mesh over the bed, king size bed. Our lovely view of the jungle. Guessing this is a wardrobe side table. It's actually smaller than I expected. This is our shower with a little skylight. I like that actually. And it's pretty clean well i can tell that they just finished cleaning it because the floor is actually still a little wet oh my god here's an insect right here <laughs> is this a little frog is it a little froggy is it dead <laughs> you notice a lot of insects getting caught in between the thing ah! <laughs> It's like, yeah, we are in their territory. We're in the middle of the jungle. It's a good thing we have all the mesh and the nets and stuff. We're gonna try to take a nap before this tour starts. It starts at three, it's already after one. We're a bit tired, hot and sweaty. So yeah, we're gonna cool off a bit and take a nap, take a shower, and then we head out on the sunset tour. That was a nice little jungle nap. <laughs> the bed was comfy. <laughs> we took a shower, we put our sunscreen on, and we are back out. The tour starts at 3.30. It's about 3 o'clock right now, so we just wanted to get out early so that we'd be on time. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I mentioned that it's a group tour. There's about 10 or so people in this group for the sunset tour. Uh, if you want to have a private tour guide dedicated just to you and your party, it's uh, 90 US dollars. <laughs> we thought that was a bit excessive compared to the 15 US dollars for the group tour. So, your choice. Animals don't say, oh, they're a human. No, this is time to eat. Oh. <laughs> you know, we all know when they are hungry. Oh you know, dear. So mm -hmm. Just a few days ago, we found a forum. Uh, one of the most places is next to the house.
We are officially on the tour. Just learned that the Mayan civilization has been known to be around for as far as 4,000, maybe even 5,000 BC. That's a very long time. And Tikal is the largest Mayan civilization in the Latin American region. Satellite data proves that they have seen as much as 60,000 structures here. In other words, it's a large property. This forest is huge. We're trying to stay as close together as possible as a group to make sure that we don't disturb the animals and the wildlife. I think it's because we of the trees. see how lucky you are. We might capture one of the biggest fireflies you have ever seen in your life. Deep into the jungle. I just want to hear the howling monkeys. <laughs> so I can't be scared. <laughs> yeah, me too. Here, this is the East Plaza, and we have uh, the Basso Temple One or the Great Jaguar Temple right here. Mm -hmm. front of the ball court where the Mayans used to play their ball games. That's what's behind me here. So I asked, what did the Mayans do in these temples? Tour guy said, we don't know. <laughs> We wish we knew, but unfortunately the history books were burned by the priests, he said. And then the rest of the books that were left are in the Vatican. Um, so there's a lot about the Mayan history that we still don't know. But these structures are magnificent, amazing. I'm hoping the camera is doing it justice. This is the one that sends the, the, the mail away. The mail away, yeah. Okay, because the mail eats the babies. We can get there too. Okay. The What's the meeting. name of it again? What's Watamundi. The, Watamundi. Watamundi. Okay. Let's go climb Temple 2 and take a look at this view. Man, it's a lot of stairs. I feel it in my glutes, hamstrings, and my calves. There's another temple over there, guys. That climb better be worth it. That's all I know. Tell me that view was not to die for. You guys just have to see it in person. Please come to Tikal and check out the Mayan ruins. The camera cannot do it justice. It's beautiful, guys. The Mayans built a huge reservoir where they could capture every drop of rainwater and preserve it. We're standing at the very edge. All of this was filled with water. For your disappointment. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> it's just a little numb your tongue. No, chew it. Mm, smell it. Smell it strong. What is it called? Allspice. That's for Christmas cookies and. Uh, mm, that's what it smells like. <laughs> it tastes like something I've tasted it's before. Something from the and it, it makes a wonderful taste. Mm. You, you taste like you're drinking like mint. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, I kind of feel it. <laughs> Oh, the poisonous one? Yeah. Coral. This is the cobra. Yeah. This is okay. She's just a little scared when you scream. That, yeah. That's a high pitch. <laughs> I tell you that. It's very She's so scared. Right <laughs> I don't blame her. It's poisonous. <laughs> yeah, right. What? Poisonous, definitely. I'd be scared too. This is exactly what happened. You know, this is the jungle. Yeah. He's like. When Second away. snake she found. Yeah. <laughs> when I were you sh climbing again up to the top of temple three where we're gonna sit and wait for the sunset it's a very <laughs> high temple so we're gonna be climbing for quite a bit We're just taking in the sunset, it is so beautiful. I hope you can really see how gorgeous this place is. A few more people have just come on top of this temple here to view the sunset, so it's gonna get a little bit more noisy. I'm just gonna sit here and take it in as much as I can and capture as much of the views to share with you guys as possible. The best views, the best views. We're heading down now. These stairs are steep and narrow, so you have to kind of go sideways. Ooh. It's obviously dark right now. We're walking back to the jungle lodge. Uh, this is pretty much the end of the tour. It was an amazing tour. You guys saw the views. I will just touch base with you as soon as we get back to the lodge. We finally made it back to Jungle Lodge. I am hot and sweaty and ready to take a shower, but we have to get dinner first. So we're about to order dinner and some drinks to celebrate the day and then call it a night. We have a 7.30 flight in the morning, so we're taking the shuttle from Jungle Lodge to the airport. The shuttle leaves at 5 a.m. So we have to be up really early. Good morning, we're at the airport as you can see. Last night we were super exhausted so after dinner we just went in showered and went to bed. So we had to get up super early and so now we're at the airport about to board our flight in a few minutes. We're still a little tired but I'm very very grateful that we were able to have this experience. We're on our way now back to Guatemala City. See you in a bit.